Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Hen Corner. The recipe that we've got now is a fantastic treat to adorn any cheese board. It's made with dried fruit and nuts and then it has a few little hidden ingredients to make it that extra bit special for Christmas. The main ingredient is dried figs. They're quite easy to get hold of in most um, shops and high streets. And what I've done, I've just cut the top hard stalks off so there's nothing too chewy in the mix. So we've got 250 grams of dried figs, 50 grams of dried apricots, and then 50 grams each of walnut pieces and blanched almonds. Once these are all chopped, pulsed in the blender, we will be adding a pinch of spice in the form of some ground cloves and then combining it together with some sweetness from some honey. We've got our hen corner honey here, but any honey will be absolutely fine. And then a little spoon, well, a big spoon of brandy just to help those flavours mellow together as it ripens in the fridge, ready to put onto your cheese board. The first thing we're gonna do is to lightly chop the nuts and we're gonna do that in the food processor. Give them a few short pulses. And these can go into our bowl. With our nuts roughly chopped, we're now going to blitz the fruit, so the figs and the apricots go into the food processor, along with just a pinch of ground cloves. Dessert spoon of brandy. Oh, a little bit more, that doesn't matter. And then finally, some of our own hen corner honey. We're looking for about a dessert spoon again. And we can drizzle that in. Thank our bees for all their hard work throughout the summer. And blitz that up. Wow, it smells amazing. So now I'm going to combine the pureed fruit with the nuts, knowing that the brandy and the honey and the cloves are going to meld it together. And we're going to have gorgeous flavours. So now I've got my nuts and my fruit. I'm going to mix them together. It's still quite moist at this stage, but we're going to shape it into a sausage and then leave it loosely wrapped in greaseproof paper in the fridge for about a week. And then that will cause it to dry, allow it to dry out until it's firm enough for slicing. It does make quite a bit this recipe, but that's enough you to have one to keep and one to give away. There you have it, a combination of fruit, nut, honey, brandy, a pinch of spice and you have a treat that will be the envy of every other cheese board. Do have a go at making it yourself. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.